Okay, great. So this is called Winter Nights by Vasilis Somiadis. Um, it was done on personal paint 7.1. And the artist's comment is, Winter Nights is a nostalgic trip back to Christmas, 90, Christmas 88, when I got my Amiga 500 and spent almost every day of the holidays exploring this wonderful machine I finally had for my own. So I'll leave this one here on view for a little bit and then I'll take the vote. Okay, so the poll is up now, uh, just in case anybody's missing it, uh, the opportunity to vote is there now. Um, I'll keep it up for another little bit. We have 40 votes out of 55 possible ones, so let's leave it open for another few seconds. Okay, I think that'll do. Oh, 41. Okay, <laughs> two more votes. Right. There, I'll take a picture of that. Okay, so that's the end of that one. Um, great. Matty, can you go on to the next one, please? Okay. This one is called Amiga Masterpiece in 31 Pixels, created by Aris Amiga. And the artist's comment is, this masterpiece includes an Amiga Boing Ball themed heart and a person admiring this amazing piece of art. Thanks for that, Aris. I know Aris is here today. Let me just find. Man, that's so fast. We've got 39 votes already, 40. I've never used this before. This is cool. Other than testing. Okay. 43 votes. Great. So on to the next one, Matty, whenever you have it. And, uh... The next one was submitted by Eric Hill of AmigaLove.com. Actually, if you haven't visited AmigaLove.com, you really need to have a look at it. It's a beautiful forum and it's mobile friendly and um, it's uh, member friendly as well and all that kind of stuff. It's really good. Um, this one, we have it up, is called Heavy Metal Amiga. And it was done with the look paint three. And the artist's comment is it's 320 by 200 in 16 colors. It was started on an NTSC A3000 running OS 1.3 and finished on an A1000 across three weeks. And uh, looks best on a CRT. Lovely. Okay, we've 42 votes in so far. It looks like we're 
because I think 45 is the highest we've had so far for votes. So maybe there's three other people waiting to, okay, 43, 44 going once. Great, okay. Um, no, just a few left. The next one, uh, this one's by Douglas Compton, the one coming up now, aka 10mark, and uh, 10mark.com is like the 10-minute Amigo, Amiga retrocast, and it's well worth checking out as well. Uh, he's got some great videos on how to do kind of, you know, technical things, uh, among other stuff, on the Amiga. Um, a big video thing, actually, that's uh, a good place to learn if you want to convert uh, some of your movies and play them on Amiga and Ham 8 and Ham 6. He's got great stuff there. So this is called Flower Collage. And the artist's comment is, this image is from a photo I took on my Canon DSLR camera and brought into my Amiga 4060 and modified with image effects and deluxe paint five. It's a 640 by 400 Han 8. Take a quick okay. The reason I'm taking pictures is that <clears throat> there was a Zoom crash and we lost the polls in a test. So uh, just better safe than sorry. Okay, the next one uh, is by TLF called Spaceships and it was done in Brilliance 2.0. I created this during an afternoon dabbling with Brilliance. One ship is a clone, a uh, clone's transformation of the other. Okay, lovely. Uh, next one we have is, uh, okay, so we've got our last entry now, and this one's by Matty, and it's called Time and Space. It's 640 by 512 using 32 colors completed on personal paint. Yeah, there are some really good entries. Yeah. Okay. 
45. Excellent. <clears throat> Great. Okay, so next up, uh, we're going to switch to music. Thanks for that, Maddie. Appreciate it. So next up, we're going to have some music. And uh, we've got quite a few mods. I know we've at least, eight, I think we've got eight mods to get through. <clears throat> And I'm going to play about three to three and a half minutes of each, uh, three and a half minutes, I think, of each. So this will take a bit of time, and uh, we'll do the same thing with the polling in between. So let me find. Ah, there you are, mid one, I see you. So, um, yeah, you can just test a little bit there and see if we can hear it. Just, that's a bit lovely. Lovely. <clears throat> so I'll just give a bit of information about that one. <clears throat> it's called True Sadness by Myron Schmidt, done with ProTracker. And uh, the artist's comment is, an original Amiga song made around 1992, uh, but unpublished to this day. It was meant for a demo. Myself, I'm a retro gaming guy from Germany. See Vintrospective.de for more info. I've checked it out and I've, <clears throat> I've uh, seen your YouTube channel. Okay, so I'll launch the poll for this one. 41 votes. Everybody, everybody who's, who's here to vote anyway? 42, okay. 43, 44, 45. Okay, that's our, as our usual limit is 45, so here we go. Okay, lovely. Okay, so the next song is, um, by Alex Menchi. It's called Night of the Hunter, done in ProTracker. And the artist's comment is a uh, French musician here, 42 years old. The Amiga was my first musical instrument before I could persuade my parents to buy me a bass guitar. It was my best Christmas present. Um, so whenever you have it there, mid one.
Here we go. <clears throat> it's really hard to scroll the chat and zoom. I'm sorry I missed a load of comments there. Uh, <laughs> a lot of good, uh, a lot of good comments about the uh, about walking dogs and staying on Zoom. <laughs> Right, that's Shane, yeah. <laughs> okay, 44 votes, that's about us. So I'll just tell you a little bit about the next tune that's coming up. Um, it is called Kerasen by Uberfox, done on OpenMPT. And uh, Uberfox says, greetings from Paraguay. Great, let's have a listen. Glad to hear Zoom is working out. Um, I wasn't wasn't too uh, sure how it would scale up <laughs> with all these people in it. Right, there we go, 44 votes, lovely. Uh, let me just introduce the next one. Okay, this was done by ADKD and it's called Your Music 2, done on Pro Tracker. And the quote is, it sucks. 
ありがとうございます The Supermax. <laughs> Supermax is our national takeaway here. <laughs> There's fish burgers, it does indeed. Movie cod sauce. Okay, 42. 42 votes. Go. Garlic, cheese, and chips. Oh, yeah, yeah. Curry, cheese as well. I used to alternate those every night on the way home. Uh, Eddie Rockets. <laughs> Okay, so let's end the polling and just introduce the next one. <clears throat> this one's by Banjo Gayali, made on Pro Tracker. The name of the song is Terrible Song Name. And uh, don't forget to check out Banjo Gayali, by the way, on uh, Bandcamp and YouTube if you haven't already, um, as well as YouTube. Okay, whenever you have it, my one.
Oh, great. Um, Tom says, drinking in our bedrooms like students now. <laughs> and of course, in these songs, uh, you know, there's a bit of something, there's a bit of delay or whatever because of the network and all that. But obviously, the songs themselves are a perfect time. Great tune. Okay, so I'll get you this one. Okay, do you all get your vote in? Or if anybody wants to vote anyway? These must be posted somewhere for us to download. Yes, they will. Yeah, we'll put them up on the website. And from there, they usually make their ways. They're coming through fine. Oh, that's great to hear. Okay, great to hear. Okay. Um, right. Okay, so the next one is by Okeanos slash T-E-K. And this is done on Pro Tracker and it's called Underground Life. And the artist's comment is, um, I am Okeanos from the Electronic Nights. Here is Underground Life, a module where I tried to make high quality sound with the smallest possible size at 106 kilobytes. Enjoy. Okay, whenever you have them, I did. Another, another great one. Okay, the polling's open. <clears throat> I missed part of the conversation here. That's a long way to post a dog to Poland. <laughs> I love it. It's, uh, it's great without context anyway. <laughs> okay. okay. The next one is called uh, how do they do that by Punic? The next one is called How Do They Do That by Punic on Pro Tracker. And the artist comment is After making a lot of mods in the 90s and some recent chip tunes, this is my attempt for another four channel mod in 2021. I hope you all like this. It was fun making.
<clears throat> there we go and some some chat about making mods and preparing samples and stuff like that yeah there's a there's a bit of a, a learning curve there like i'd like to start off with a sort of it would be great if it was a sort of a starter kit of samples and there are actually there are some um you know samples straight off of keyboards that you could just get going with yeah facebook <laughs> that's the thing isn't it <laughs> there's some great info on facebook but Okay, um, 42 votes, I'll take a snap of this. Oh, well, CU Amiga used to include samples on their cover CDs. Yeah, the STXX disk libraries, that, that's what I was thinking of, Ali. Although there's a, Miss Madeline did a video recently where she bought a keyboard, sampled one of the sounds out of it, and then wrote a banger of a tune. <laughs> Um, all in. I think it's a. I don't know. It's, it's like it's not a long video. <laughs> she did it all in a short period of time. It's really cool. So this is our last one, and it's called Hardware Monkey <clears throat> Mod by Barkbit. It was made on Pro Tracker, and the artist comment is, "I'm an old bearded Swede that got into." Music again after many years away from the Amiga. This mod was made using WinUAE and an image of my 90s Amiga 1200 hard drive. Cool. Hey, take it away.
Okay, get your votes in. And next, we're going to have the, uh, the 3D art competition. <clears throat> and the good news is that we had three entries in this one, so everyone's going to win something. Camera, <laughs> uh, Mid one, thanks so much. And that was mid one, by the way, uh, the creator of Amiberry there. So if you have any, uh, any questions or uh, praise to send that way, you can, that's the person to talk to. I'll turn off the spotlight, but I appreciate the help there, mid one, um, especially at short notice. Let's see, we've got 40 votes. So we're going to be meeting David Pleasant in a minute, uh, about three minutes. So we've got just uh, three more entries to get through. So end this poll. And I will find Ger, where are you? Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, good man, Ger. Right. This is the first one. Um, let me... Uh, let me uh, introduce this piece, right? This is called Amiga Word by TLF, the Lightwave 3D. This frame is from an animation. Uh, I learned this from Wadib 3D's webcast tutorial in about two lessons. Uh, visit AmigaRayTracers.com to join us. Okay, so, um, and these are shown in the order they were submitted in, by the way, all these, all these works. Thanks, Jim. So this one is called Win Winter Solstice Tree 2021 by Kirkos Gorgorgini, aka Modib, using Lightwave 3D. And uh, the comment is a 3D scene of an indoors winter solstice tree, also known as a Christmas tree nowadays, beside an Amiga 1200. Made in Lightwave 3D 5, there are over 144,000 points, 53,000 polys, and 94 objects, and 42 lights. Those brand new keycaps. <laughs> Need the other wing. Okay, we've 39 votes. Is that everybody? 40. Okay. Okay, so the last one then is called, let me just get the poll ready to go. Okay. The last one is called Tron Recognizer by Anthony Jarvis. And the quote is, I wanted to create a Tron-like image with an output resolution that would have been close to the film, rendered in WinUAE for speed and a little post in image effects. Cheers. Okay, lovely. We'll end the polling there. Actually, take a quick picture as well of this one. <clears throat> okay, we'll have the results for all of this at seven. No worries, Jer. <laughs> no worries at all. Um, now, I'm assuming if I close this window, I can go back and review them. Yeah, I can. Okay, great. Okay, so we're going to move on to the um, creative competition now. So, Let's see. Uh, actually, Matty, I think you're ready. So, Matty, if you want to give it a go there. Uh, let's see. In first place, we have... Okay, so in first place, we have Heavy Metal Amiga. 
Yeah, that's by Eric Hill of AmigaLove.com. Congrats, Eric. I don't think he's here today, but we'll get in touch with you. Such a gorgeous image. Uh, it looks even better if you put it straight on your Amiga, actually, as well. Uh, so you'll be able to get them from the website, I'm sure, AmigaLove.com as well. In second place, we have Space Time by Matty. So Eric Hill got 347 points. This one got 335 points. And then on, they're so close, on 325 points, then we have Winter Nights by Vasilis. Okay, so we'll be in touch. We'll be in touch with the winners, and uh, we'll put all this information up on the website. Then, uh, just uh, just to I suppose read it out. In fourth place was Amiga Hulk by Jose A. The the uh, Hulk Hogan image. After that was that was 317 points. Flower Collage by Douglas uh, was at 248 points. Then at 247 points, just one point down was Amiga Masterpiece um, by Aris. And in last place is Spaceships, which got 189 points. Fantastic. Um, gorgeous. Well done, everybody. It's it's so cool to see all this uh, creativity here. And then for the music, um, so actually, uh, mid one, if you're here, is there any chance you could uh, uh, play the uh, the winning song for us? I don't know if you're here or not. Um, let's see. If you are, let me know in the chat. And uh, in the meantime, I'll just read them out. Wait a second. It's there and ready, he says. Oh, excellent. Okay. So let me make sure I'm reading the right. I'm reading the right uh, sheet. I might have to go, do I have to go and check. No, this is the one. Yeah, okay. So in eighth place was uh, the Dark Bit Hardware Monkey, 225 points. Seventh place was Uber Fox, Carson, the 288. 295 points was Okeanos, the T E K, Underground Life. 319 points was. Uh, Myron Schmidt, True Sadness. 325 points was ADK to Your Music 2. 351 points was Alex Menchie, Knight of the Hunt. Uh, just three points more than that again. It's also close. 354 points in second place. Banjo Gaiali, terrible song name. And in first place is, uh, with 361, is Punic. How do they do that? Mid one, I'll uh, let me unmute you and pin you and all that stuff. Yeah, great.
Lovely. And uh, last but not least, we have the 3D. Uh, we have the 3D competition. So in third place was Amiga Word uh, with, I have with points. Yep, with 248 points. In second place was Winter Salsa's Tree by George Sakyanos with 348 points. And with 424 points in the first position is Tron Recognizer by Anthony Jarvis. Congrats, everybody there. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And again, they'll all be uh, available to download on the website. Right, OK. So we'll be trying to get a group photo, a uh, group video.